हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड फ्रेंड्स इन फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक इज एडजस्टमेंट इन फाइनल अकाउंट्स दे आर लोड्स ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन एंड फाइनेंशियल इवेंट्स विच डिड नॉट रिकॉर्ड इन आवर लेजर्स एंड our trial balance will not uh, indicate these uh, transactions and financial events so at the end of financial years we need to uh, pass closing entries or adjustment entries to show its effect in final accounts first of all we discuss about a closing stock what is closing stroke stroke at the end of the year in our store will be closing stroke we will calculate its cost uh, on different methods like fifo or lipo or any other method that closing stock will go to the our trading account and then in benefit as a asset in credit side of trading account and then asset current asset in balance sheet next is outstanding expenses expenses uh, which is payable but not paid suppose we have to pay salary but uh, at the end of year all outstanding expenses will be calculated and uh, it will add in normal expenses in profit and loss account loss account if these uh, expenses are indirect expenses otherwise uh, these expenses will go to uh, trading accounts debit side outstanding expenses goes to profit and loss accounts debit side advance expenses suppose uh, we uh, pay 2 years uh, insurance premium so 1 year is paid Suppose ten thousand, we pay advance expenses, and uh, its half is uh, advance. So in profit and loss account, we deduct five uh, thousand in the debit side as the advance expenses. Why we will deduct? Uh, advance expenses because uh, these expenses uh, are not related to our financial years we paid in advance but we did not uh, receive its services so these are not uh, our real expenses that is the reason we deduct uh, in profit and loss accounts expenses and then we will show these expenses uh, as asset why we will show these expenses as asset because we did not get service it means if uh, we will not uh, uh, interested to get service we can uh, get our money advance money 
was uh, we rejected to uh, continue our insurance policy then we we have right to get this asset so this is the asset fourth is outstanding ex outstanding income outstanding income is uh, the income which is receivable we provide the service to other but uh, we did not receive the income so uh, this is a uh, this will add in income add in income in the credit side of uh, side of uh, profit and loss account in the profit and loss account we will add outstanding income in income account and uh, it will also our asset outstanding expenses is our liability outstanding income is our asset because uh, when we did work of any other person we go to court for getting our money our income and uh, then fifth is advance income advance income is our liability we did not provide service but we get money of these services so this is our liability and it will deduct from total income in profit and loss account in the credit side sixth is a depreciation just uh, go to the debit side of a profit and loss account and uh, we will deduct uh, from fixed assets next part we will explain other new adjustments okay